Welcome back, Lumberjack fans, once again to a new season of Coach's Corner brought to you by a great sponsor in Central Hydraulics. We're actually on location at Wilson Park in St. Cloud. Granite City Lumberjacks did have their welcoming family uh, picnic here to start out the season. I'm your host, Paul Vold, joined alongside head coach for your Lumberjacks, DJ Vold. And coach, obviously a start of a brand new season, and the picnic really serves as a chance for billets, players, families all get together and, you know, get to know each other a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's it's great to get everybody together on a Sunday, even though it's in the middle of the bikes game. <laughs> and we've caught in a little grief for that. But um, no, it's great to get everybody in the same room, kind of get to share a little bit about the organization and ourselves as the staff members and people who kind of make the organization go. Um, so they kind of understand the inner workings a little more, but all in all, great turnout, really happy with how everything went. No, absolutely, and especially if a couple of weeks of practice under the team's belt before, you know, Saturday's uh, contest against uh, Alexandria. Talk about, of course, with the combination of obviously returning players, some younger guys coming in as well, experiencing their first uh, years in junior hockey. How have been those first couple of weeks of practice for the team? Yeah, the first game's always interesting. Obviously, opening with Alex, we don't, uh, we don't ease ourselves into it. We kind of throw them to the fire and let them go and see how we do. Um, with the new guys, it's it's kind of a whirlwind. Um, we just tell them to, we tell the new guys if the, it's their first junior hockey game, enjoy it, have fun. You'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. For the guys who may be playing in their last home opener, same thing. Enjoy yeah. it. You'll remember it forever. But. All in all, obviously happy with the result, with the win, but we've got some work to do. Yeah, of course, talking about that as well, a little back and forth. Start of the contest, pretty much throughout the whole game, very much back and forth. We saw kind of a, you know, obviously first game, probably some jitters out there for both sides. Players getting caught out of position, which led to some odd man rushes, yeah. scoring chances too. How did you feel about that overall play for the team? Uh, sloppy, mm -hmm. but we worked hard. I mean, mm -hmm. that... That's a big thing early in the year is all you want is effort and we right. can fix all the mistakes. Um, it was nice to see us give up one early and continue to play and claw our way back. And I mean, we, I think we were on the ice 10 for 10 days before our first game mm -hmm. and that's how we normally do it. But so they, I mean, they're thrown into situations in the first game that we haven't even talked about. Right. So um, it's interesting to see how they react to those situations when we haven't gotten a chance to go over it yet, and I thought we did pretty well. Yeah, talking about, of course, being put into some uh, situations as well. Special teams especially, uh, you throw out, of course, there were a couple of chances where Alexandria had, you know, multiple chances at five-minute major in that second pe uh, second period, uh, five on three a couple of times as well. Looking at how that all played out for the team, obviously able to kill off a lot of those big penalties and create chances for you on the other side. How would you feel about, you know, obviously the early on special teams has got to be a, a big focus for the team. Team. Yeah, it's something we work on a lot. Um, penalty kills always, always at the very best. Okay, mm -hmm. um, it's all about working hard and just wanting to get the puck out. Uh, power play is a different story. It takes work. It takes finding the right combinations. Um, and I thought we were good on both ends for the most mm -hmm. part. Um, I don't have a, a ton to complain about special teams wise for sure. Of course, uh, one player that we wanted to highlight in his debut for the Lumberjacks and in junior hockey as well, your goaltender, Nick Hansen, local kid as well. A lot of big saves early on. Last 30 seconds of the contest, felt like he made as many saves as he did from the whole uh, whole game too. How did you feel about the, the choice of going starting Nick Hansen in that to open up the season? Oh, I'm, I mean, he got the W, right? He was good enough for us to win, and that's really all we asked for. Um, I think early off he started and was kind of – Kind of jumpy and excited to play in his first hockey game, and then he settled in just fine. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, Nick's won a Minnesota State Championship. Seems to be a kid when the lights get brighter, he gets better. And I think that's kind of how the game went, where in third period, he knew we needed him and he was there for us, so really happy with his effort. Yeah. Of course, now with another week of practice in tow, of course, just a one-game weekend this past weekend. Now you look ahead with the Minnesota Wilderness going to be coming to town, too. What do you see as some of the big things to really focus on with this week of practice coming up? Uh, defense, mm -hmm. start to finish, um, getting better defensively, and really just compete. Um, I think our group, we've, we've got a really good skating group, not the biggest group ever, right. but we skate really well, um, and there's no reason we can't be hard to play against and, and make it tough on opponents, and that's what we try to do every night. So just enforcing that defense and 
a little bit of everything else. Yeah, and of course, a full week of practice coming up when the Lumberjacks take on the Minnesota Wilderness. It'll be a 7.30 puck drop Saturday from Miller Buick GMC Arena. Paul Vold joined alongside head coach for Granite City Lumberjacks, DJ Vold. We'll step aside here for a break. We'll have our players interview with number 26, Easton Portner, coming up on Coach's Corner, brought to you by Central Hydraulics. folks once again to another episode it's a brand new season of coach's corner i'm your host paul vold joined alongside here this week it's number 26 for your granite city lumberjacks it's easton portner Gordy, thanks so much for joining us yeah, thanks for having me of course a brand new season we started and thank you again to our great sponsors including winch central hydraulics starting off first couple of weeks of the season here porty obviously a new mix of uh, guys coming in some returners too how been those first couple of weeks especially with those first couple of practices for the team First couple of weeks have been uh, pretty good. I think all the new guys are buying into the system. We have a good leadership group with our vets. I think uh, all of our vets know the messages that they want to pass on, and uh, it's been it's been uh, pretty solid. Everybody likes each other, so uh, pretty good start of the season. Yeah, absolutely, especially with that season open that happened on Saturday with a 5-4 win for the team over the Alexandria Blizzard. It was a little bit of a back and forth start there and things kind of developed overall, but how'd you feel about the play from the from the Lumberjacks on Saturday? I think the play was pretty solid through most of the game. Uh, a little bit of nerves at the beginning, I think, for everybody, but that's to be expected when you're playing your first junior hockey game. Pace, pace of the game, I think, was pretty solid. Yeah. Um, communication's gonna be huge, but uh, yeah, I think, just little minor things that we're going to have to fix throughout the season, but that comes with time as you gel with, with your teammates and whatnot. But I think it was pretty solid first game for everybody. Yeah, we saw, too, a couple of points throughout the contest of there being, you know, uh, maybe a couple lapses on defense leading to some odd man rushes. You had a couple especially, but also felt good probably to at least get uh, get the skates underneath you and keep moving, too. Yeah, it's always good. Always good to get the first game out of the way and have it be a successful win is always feels good and yeah. start off right. Of course, a lot of local kids on the team. Of course, you being one of them too. One of which uh, we saw in his debut for the Lumberjacks, Nick Hansen in net. And well, for lack of a better term, he stood on his head, especially in the last 30 seconds of the game too. How'd you feel about the overall uh, performance of your goaltender there? I think uh, coming in, I think he was very confident with how he can play. Mm -hmm. And he showed everybody what he's about. I think uh, solid kid very mature kid for his age and uh, I think yeah he stood on his head yeah uh, proved his point of wanting to be the starting goalie and he works his ass off so he's a good kid and he showed it in the game so yeah, and got another game coming up here of course just a one game weekend this past weekend now looking ahead as well Minnesota Wilderness come to town on Saturday get a full week of practice what do you see kind of maybe some things that uh, you take away from this weekend to maybe look at for practice coming up this week uh, I think uh, we're going for practices coming up we're going to really work on our D zone I think heavy I think uh, if we figure out our D zone, we're going to be a pretty tough team to play against. Uh, communication's huge for everybody, but yeah, just talking and getting used to the team, and yeah, we'll just we'll figure out our roles and yeah, we'll gel as a team. Of course, now with our players interview that we always do here on Coach's Corner. See, last year we had an interview, but it wasn't with me. You got to talk with Brian behind the camera here last year, so now I get to ask the rapid fire questions here to start off. All right. So we start off, what's kind of the, the pre-game meal do you usually eat before you get to the rink? When you get there, what's kind of the go-to pre-game meal for you? Uh, mine kind of differs. Uh, Chipotle is a pretty common one. Mm -hmm. uh, also like Jersey Mike's subs um, or noodles. Noodles and company, I kind of get a little chicken alfredo action in. Absolutely. Um, those are three 
solid spots that I'll choose between. All good ones as well. Uh, what's kind of like a little bit of a pregame routine when you step right into the rank, in the locker room, anything special you kind of do to get uh, into that zone there for you? I kind of just, if I'm, if I'm in the lineup, I'm taping my stick, I'm putting on my workout clothes, and yeah, I usually rip a granola bar, and yeah, play, play a little sewer with the, with the boys in the corner before stretch, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you prefer the red or the white lumberjack sweater? Uh, I like our whites. I think they're really clean. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, both are pretty solid jerseys. Absolutely. Which is your favorite away rink that you've played out here with Granite City? Favorite away rink is going to be Alex's. I like Alexandria's barn. Mm -hmm. I just, I mean, I played there in high school and yep. I always liked the ice and how it felt, so I like their barn. What is a hidden talent that maybe you have that not a lot of people know of? Hidden talent. <laughs> I, don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I can wakeboard. <laughs> wake, oh. I do wake sports, that's yep. kind of my thing. Yep. All right, now time we throw a couple teammates under the bus. Who's got the best oh, and God. worst car on the team? Worst car? Yes. All right, worst car? Beauty, absolute beauty. <laughs> um, but he got sewered. He had a nice car last year, and then I don't know. He sit, got sent with a different car. Uh -huh. But uh, Cole Steven. Uh -huh. But it, it's it's a nice car. <laughs> well, the best car. Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, best car, as in like my style. Uh huh. Car. Parker Comstock's got this nice Chevy. Uh -huh. It's an older body style, and I like, I mean, I'm into older trucks, so right. I like his. I Speaking like his of truck. style as well, who's got the best and worst style on the team? Best style? Yeah, like clothes, just overall, just look of a teammate. Who's got the best and worst? Best style? It's got to be Tegan Dodge's turtlenecks. <laughs> he rocks turtlenecks for games days. That's got to be. So I'm saying that, that that's the worst one or the best one? The no, best. that's best. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, he's a fashionable guy. <laughs> he's always rocking some type of shoe too. Yep. So um, worst style, I don't, I don't know. Everybody's pretty basic. I'd say I've got some pretty bad style. <laughs> I'm not a very, I don't know. I just rock the same suit every game. So sometimes it's not, nothing wrong with I'm that. I'm not very stylish. Final question here for you. What you got for personal goals for this season for you? Personal goals, uh, just have fun, honestly. My last junior year, so I'm just trying to have fun and be a good teammate to everybody. Um, obviously, personal goals, just trying to lead as best as I can. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, I don't know, everybody's goal is to make it to the championship. But Absolutely. I just want to win every day and make everybody else um, better around me and hopefully let everybody have a good time while they're here. Absolutely. Number 26 for your Granite City Lumberjacks, Easton Portner joins us here this week. On Coach's Corner, brought to you by Central Hydraulics, Porty and the boys will be back in action coming up here on Saturday from Miller Buick GMC Arena as we welcome in the Minnesota Wilderness for the first time as the Lumberjacks take on them coming up here next week. Thanks again for tuning in to Coach's Corner, brought to you by Central Hydraulics.